Hello everybody, welcome to Adventures in Keepy Beekeeping. I'm out of breath. I've been out here uh, collecting honey supers and stuff, and all of a sudden, a bunch of noise. And what do you see here on August the uh, 8th? A swarm. I heard these bees come buzzing in from somewhere. I don't know where it is, where they came from, but I'm gonna try to cut them down with this and have them fall onto this tarp and into the uh, nook there. Uh, have some frames ready, so we'll see what happens. They're kind of quieting down. I can kind of see that there's bees on the outside of the swarm just dancing around. So I'm not sure what's going to happen. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to catch this uh, cutting of the limb, but I'll show you what happens afterwards. I'm going to cut it with my uh, tree trim cutter thing. Where'd they go? All right, here goes. Well, it wasn't perfect. It wasn't a perfect shot. Looks like they went between my boxes instead of into my boxes. But they're no longer on the branch, so I'm gonna to try to uh, lure them into one of these boxes. All right. Well, I haven't seen the queen yet. But they seem to be all on this side of this box. Maybe this, uh, maybe they're all on the bottom there, and then there's two boxes here side by side, and they're all along, all along in here. And uh, normally you can see the bees fanning to show where the queen is, I'm not seeing that. And down in here there's some that are just dancing, 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 they're just dancing away, and then the, maybe trying to get them to convince them to go to a different location. They're really gentle, they're landing on their hand. I think uh, this is one of the gentle and natural. And we'll see which way they go. Some of the bees are in here, uh, but I don't see the queen in there at all. And then some of them have gone maybe down in here, but not enough to like say that they've decided to go in there. A few, there's a few going in and out, checking it out. I'll let you know what happens. A lot of the bees seem to be on this box, so it might be that the queen's over there. So what I'm going to do is set this box up on top of this box with the frames in it to see if uh, that makes a difference in them choosing this other box with the frames in it. A lot more bees are flying. A lot more bees are flying. I don't know where. What happened? Did they decide to go somewhere else? The bees are all in the air. They decided that not my box. I guess. Not my box. I don't know. They're all in the air now. I guess I didn't find the queen quick enough. See them all up in the air? They're everywhere. It's like they're maybe deciding to go somewhere else. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I disturbed them too much. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Well, they didn't like the box, so they reassembled in the tree on a different branch. And they're calming down all assembled. So I'll try cutting them down again. So I saw the queen. Put her in a queen clip. She's laying on the top of the frames. The queen clip is on the top of the frames in the bottom deep. And the bees are coming. They're fanning. And what's interesting here is there seems to be more bees coming from somewhere. It's like there's more bees here now than there was originally in the swarm. So I don't know what to tell you, but it does look like there's an awful lot more bees. And if you back off, there's still bees flying in into the swarm, or into the bottom box. And they're walking in. So they know where their queen is, they're going in there. Where these bees are coming from, I don't know. Yet. Oh, man. Okay, not, not a huge swarm, not a huge swarm. I have the queen clip on the top, and there's bees all around. 
not a huge bunch of ears, but I guess it's a small one to catch. Let's see what happens to them. Okay, exciting adventures in beekeeping today. I was out here removing, removing honey supers, and all of a sudden, I heard a swarm come in and land in the tree above my head. And uh, so now we have them in the hive or in the in the uh, double nook. And uh, a couple of things to remember: this is the, a teaching moment here for me. Always be prepared when you go to the apiary because you never know what you're going to experience. And then my good friend Dave Hansbury one time told me, be sure you always have extra equipment sitting around so that in case you have a swarm or you find a, uh, a queen cell or something like that, you have equipment to put your uh, newfound bee colony in. So that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching. God bless and have a great day. Here we are at that swarm two days later. It's a tiny little swarm, a tiny little hive. Then I think I found the queen. See if I can find her again. She was right over in here. And I don't see her now. Maybe you can see her in the video. Turn it over and see if she walked to the other side. Hmm. Nope. Oh. Nope. There she is. She's right there. Right there. Right there. There. There's a good picture. There she is. There's the queen. Right there. The big one. Right there. I don't see any eggs yet. So, anyway, just a little update on this little hive. This little swarm.